and get this fatty fat. Fatty. What? <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator, and welcome back to Hotline Miami 2. And we're back as Big Fatty Jake the Snake here. Isn't that wonderful? I guess we're gonna go outside. I don't like my crappy apartment, it smells like Hot Pockets. What? How do I drive this truck? Is this a Euro truck? I have to get it on the side? This is not what I do at all. I'll just wander into the the darkness. Obviously something I'm supposed to do upstairs. In my stupid hot pocket apartment. Oh Hello, this is Mary from the daycare center on Northwest 159th Street. We're having a parent teacher meeting tonight at seven. Northwest 159th Street, got it. I'll be there at seven. Discreet. <laughs> Hello? Where'd you go? <laughs> it's, it's, it's 7 o'clock! Oh my god! We're gonna be late! We have to go! <laughs> right. Whoa! Bathrooms? More bathrooms? There's no urinals. These people are sexist! Well, hello there! We're just about to close up here! Is there anything I can help you with? I remember. Is that so? I'm glad to hear that. Thank you for your support. Thank all you for your support as well. Mm. <laughs> Look, I've got part of I've got this plan. I know it sounds a little crazy, but just think about it for a little while, okay? I think I might be out of some big here. Alright, let's hear this plan of yours. Just make it quick. I really need to be on my way. Alright, so I begin these strange phone calls. Strange phone calls? I wouldn't know anything about that. Look, just hear me out, okay? Like I was saying, these phone calls are telling me to do stuff. They sound like they're some kind of misplaced calls, but they're not. And if you don't do what they say, well, let's let's just say you don't want to disobey them. They mean business, if you know what I mean. I see. And what do you think this has to do with our organization? I don't know. I was thinking, what if we set up a similar operation except, like, we go after the Russians, free America of our oppressors, you know? I mean, you have all these members and all the resources. Many of us have military experience. We'd wipe them out. We could start a civil movement, free ourselves. I'm not sure I follow. We're a peaceful organization. We'd never force anyone to do something they don't want to do. I'm not sure what you're accusing us of. Man, you're not listening. I'm not accusing you of any... I get it. You're the ones. It all makes sense now. <laughs> Can't believe I didn't figure it out sooner. My god. And here I was thinking I had this great... Oh man. Look here, sir. We're closed, okay? If you don't mind, I would really like for you to leave now. Can't talk about it here, huh? Gotcha. Don't worry. I'll keep your secret safe. You can count on me, brother. We're both patriots, right? I'll just go... I'll just go now. I have something important to do. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know why I gave that guy the voice of yes man, but for some reason it, it made me kind of giggle. I hope you guys enjoy the voices. I did Arnold Schwarzenegger for uh, father and son. Son of father and son. Withdrawal. Thank you so much to them for being big supporters of the Dayton Does. Irvin starts with a nail gun, so uh, I want to start with a nail gun. Ooh. Can I just hang my last dog poster here? Do you mind? <laughs> That's so fun. Oh, last dog. Last dog. Dude, you can't even, like, see your buddy just drop on the floor. Dude, this nail gun is just wrecking shit. <laughs> Silent but deadly. 
Get out of here, buddy. <laughs> what was that? There's a pain in my ass. Oh, I'm dead. I am dead now. Dude, this nail gun's the shit. Hey, Pally. <laughs> wrecked! Get wrecked! No deaths. I'm out of nails now. So, uh, that's kind of balls. That's okay. We get a shotgun right now. Shotguns are fun, huh? Stomp it, stomp it. And it's gotta be bumpin' City of Compton! Oh fuck, 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 fuck! Ah! Oh. Hey, buddy! You wanna do this again? The thing we did before? Do you wanna do it again? Hey. Uh oh. Damn. Tried to throw it. Failed miserably. Boop. This baddie back. Baddie. What? <laughs> That's a bomb. There's a bomb in there. Oh shit. Hey. I really would prefer a melee weapon. There we go. Clap, clap, clap. Knife guy. Doggy. Knife guy. Knife guy. I hate the knife guy. They swing so fast. Gotta get him on the corners. Ooh, got you, didn't I? That's alright. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Oh, make sure you're dead. Ooh, wow. He saw me. Surely he did. What do I? I'm scared. Am I gonna die if I open the door? Let's just get a shotgun. So we can be safe. Alright. Maybe we just fire up in that room? Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh, yes! Uh, it worked out so well, according to the plan that I didn't have initially going into it. <laughs> oh, man. Shit. No! 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 If we finish it without dying, I wonder if we get, like, a branch in the storyline or something like that. Wow. Well, I don't know what's next, and I don't want to make it too long, so I guess it's a short one for today, folks. I hope you don't mind. If you did enjoy, I hope you will like, comment, and or subscribe. This has been Hotline Miami 2. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Until then, what do we get? Fuck. Bye bye! <laughs> One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.